that at, at your range. If not, you're not going to hit him. Are you, are, you, are you tired? I'm good, I'm good. They're fucking throwing this. Throwing in the fucking range. Look, when you start and you set up punches with your jab, then you can use the same mechanics to set up those left hooks right there. Automatic punch from Suarez. Turning it right over. Looked like it was going to be a jab. Poirier wasn't ready for it. Coming around that. But this uppercut right here, I'm telling y'all know right now. Ooh, on the throat and the chin. That guy swore his attention for a split second. Yeah, then he went back to his left hook. Didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> that was probably the best round for Louis Corey, and I'm not sure it was enough to come away with the points because Suarez landed a couple of left hooks there to even things out. But this is the eighth and final round. Good jab there from Louis Correa, who went back to the corner. Felipe Campa was in his face saying, if you've got anything left, I need you to let it all loose here in the eighth round. He needs to he needs to let that uppercut go again. Yeah, that's a that's a deadly punch coming against a shorter opponent. You know, shorter opponents usually lean forward a bit to try to get an inch a little bit closer with their punches. Yeah, Tim, but Suarez is shorter, but he's also got a six inch reach advantage, and that's why he's been able to get to Coria when Coria thought he was in a safe zone. <laughs> High five. Man, you say chocala in Spanish. Chocala. Yeah. Yeah, like, oh, no, 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 that's a slip, that's a slip, that's a slip, it's wet in the center of the ring on that paint, it's dangerous, take a look at it, Tim, yeah, in the center, yeah, no, I try to stay out of the, uh, you know, I try to go around that, to be honest with you, when I would, when I would fight, and especially when it gets wet, because you got the wet drip, the, water dripping down from the trunks. You see, there are trunks full of water. Yeah. And that's what happens. So I try to keep the fight a little bit on the outside or pressing forward and away from that. I try to keep my back away from that on my legs off of that. And that matters. So Corey closing the gap a lot. Yes. Better here in the final round. Keeping Suarez up against the ropes. Stop. Right. Right. I Suarez has to tie up. There's blood now. On the eye now. Eye of Louis Correa. I wonder sure. if that came from a punch or a head clash. Or if it's even just from his nose that the glove put it up there. We'll see. Oh, there's a cut there. Outside part of the eye. Oh, nice left hook once again from Suarez. It was a lead right followed by a left hook. Out of one, two, one. Nasty. Man, his, his punch variation is, is freaky. It is <laughs> Suarez's punch variation is something else. Again. It's something else. He's sneaky. Subtle feints. It's all subtle, too. It's not like any, not a whole lot glaring, but it's just so subtle, and he's so quick on the trigger. Really that's, is. What makes, that's what makes him dangerous. And those long arms. Yes, and those long arms helps him. Oh, there it is again. Corey tried to get out and escape and just get caught with his hands dropped because of those long arms.